Hey everyone! I have another junk journal to share and Jessica, this one is yours. Um, I hope you love this so much, but let me just let me just start by giving a little bit of a story behind it. So I was approached a couple months ago because I had or a month or something, but anyways, it doesn't matter. I um I had a bunch of or I had a photo on Facebook that had a bunch of thrift store books that I picked up. And she happened to see that I had this one called The Wanderers. And she wanted to know if I still had it available and if, um, you know, maybe I could use that particular one to make a um, almost like a travel journal that she could use because her family goes camping every summer. And I just thought that was like the best idea. So that's it. Because I had no idea what I was going to use this for, but I knew that I loved the book and it had to be something, um, something special. So anyways um so yeah i i made this book into almost like a camping type of journal and it is so fun so i hope that you love it as much as i do um i'll tell you the things that i love the most about this book there are already markings all over it um, that were just there before so i kept the cover really really simple i tried out all kinds of things it's a cloth cover so I tried out all kinds of things because um, I had some stickers and things like that that would work. But to be honest, I thought it detracted a lot from the cover because the cover itself is it's kind of dirty <laughs> in a way. It's kind of like there's um, there's like coffee splatters and stuff that are actually there. You can see a coffee ring right here. It's just such a cool book. Um, so I actually just kept it as is and then I just made this little band with elastic for a closure and on the band we have this little um, charm that says wild and free and I just put some like um, you know just some stuff and on the side here I just used a lot of different different things but um, yeah I have this little um, what do we want to call it tassel. Um, and then connected to the black and white baker's twine is this little charm that says nothing on that side. <laughs> I'm showing you the wrong side. <laughs> it says uh, find joy in the journey. Um, this one is a compass, this charm. And then this one is a dream catcher. And I thought that was really cool. So from the moment she told me about what she was looking for, I felt like we were really on the same page because before she would even like mention a certain paper line or or an idea, I had already been thinking of that. So I really hope that this is exactly how you want it um, because I think it just turned out so, so great. But let me just take you on the inside. So as you can see, it's just plain except for this band. Um, like I said, it kind of detracted from the, you know, the old quality of it and just the title, The Wanderers, is just so perfect. But anyways, let's go here. Okay, so in the front, there's just this little, there's just like this little pocket where you can, I just have some extra like journaling cards and, and things like that that I just had that were kind of like camping related and I just stuck them in here. So you can use those if you want. Um... I normally make my vellum for these books, but this is the exception. <laughs> this I found this and I thought it was so cute. It has little campers all over it. Oh my gosh, I thought that was just so adorable. So I had to use that. So we got the campers to start. We have lots of coffee dyed papers and little tags um, and journaling cards that says, are we there yet? Um, for this book, I used the paper line, some of the paper line from um, the Crate Paper Journey collection and the stickers. And also I found these papers on Etsy and I'll link the Etsy shop. And I just thought it was so perfect because these, um, these feathers and their designs and stuff matched the stickers and everything from the Journey collection. So I thought that was really cool. So I used some of those as well. So we we're going for kind of like a tribal, like kind of like a boho type of type of theme. Here are um, I saw these. Um, they're like stamps, but they have the uh, like an Indian um, or Native American, I guess we should call it these days, um, headdress. 
which I thought was really cool. A bunch of them on there. I thought those were really nice. And then these teepees. I stinking love this teepee paper. It's like my favorite. <laughs> Seriously. Um, this journal and card says let's roll. It's a camper. Here's a glassine bag. I just stuck a sticker on here. It says hello. Here's some coffee dyed paper. Um, there's another sticker. I used a lot of the stickers from the uh, Journey collection in here. So here's kind of a band you can tuck things behind and then I have this journaling card that just says a day at the lake. I thought that was that was cute. So I just slip it right underneath here. Um, here's just a little envelope where I just stuck a coffee dyed um, um, index card and then here's a TP on the back. There's the other side of that TP paper. I just love the prints on all these. This one says explore. I inked the edges on the papers as well. And then here's the vellum. So then this is the second signature. There's three signatures total. Um, lots of places to put things like your pictures and um, blank pages for journaling and stuff, but lots of room for pictures as well. So this envelope here, I just stuck a couple stickers on here. Just this one says, let's get lost. And this one says travel. And you can tuck it behind this band or you could just move it around in the book. But I kind of liked it just hanging from that band there. I use papers from on other collections if I found them too. But uh, this journaling card is just a, like who, when, where, highlights. Love the feathers. Oh my gosh, do I love this feather paper. I love this whole collection. Um, yes, Under the Stars. I, I kept finding things like this. I didn't even know I had them, but I kept finding stuff like this in my stash. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's like so perfect. Because I don't really go camping or anything. So um, I don't know that I would have ever used them. So I'm happy that um, I could use it for this book. Here's just a tag I made with just a couple like dimensional stickers. This is kind of fun. I thought this was fun. So here's just a couple um, like little pocket pages, whatever, envelope, whatever you want to call them. But here is um, the cover to this little book. Um, you know, probably one of those like little golden books or something. Well, it says tip top elf book, but you know what I mean. Um, and it just says little campers. And I thought that was so cute. Um, I don't know how many kids you have, Jessica, but um, I know that you at least have a boy and a girl. And I thought that was so cute to have, have these, these kids there, but I made it into a booklet. So inside is a bunch of graph paper and uh, you could, I don't know, if your kids get bored one day or something, I don't know that they would, but you could just always give this to them to draw in or something too. And I thought that would be kind of fun or, or you could just use it for more journaling, but I thought it was, I thought it was fun. So I made it into a little book. Some more coffee dyed paper. Of course I used my tab punched, punch tabs. I like this arrow, it matches this, these feathers. Here's another tag that I made with just some of the stickers. It just says journey and then the, the date. I have it hanging off the edges here, but I made sure that the other sides weren't sticky anymore. So anyways, I thought that was cute. So it just clips there. I love this camper sticker. Oh my gosh. I just love this so much. I almost wish that I went camping so I'd have a really good reason to to make something like this for myself, but I guess I could for something else. <laughs> and I'm happy I could at least make it for you. Um, here's just a tag with just some of the leftover paper and just sticks in this big envelope. I like this journaling card because I thought it was so cute. It's a, it's a marshmallow and just says, did someone say campfire? I don't know. I think that's adorable. On the back it just says explore, but this is kind of just like decoration, I guess. Um, this says, let's get away. Here's another little band that you can slip some things under. It says wild and free. Uh, this one says sightseeing. And then this page, it just opens up like this. So you can store some stuff in there. 
here is the little um we talked about a little um the viewfinder not viewfinder that's for a camera the view master <laughs> little reel and um I was gonna make one but then oh, I hate to say it something happened with my computer and I can't get my Photoshop to open and something just fell on the floor I'll get that um so I couldn't really make it right now until I get a new version of it and whatever so I actually found this one online and I thought it was really cute it's like a it's a it says defective and it's a national park one with all these pictures but it's like this old one that was like a real one that was just scanned I thought that was cute so I just added that in here and the sticker just says travel with me on the back this says not all who wander are lost and uh in here I have this tag with just this like really pretty um, design on it some more teepees you can slip things under this band as well and then this tag has a really pretty um, headdress on that too um, here's a sticker here's another glassine bag just says memories and then in it I just I, I actually was experimenting with colored coffee dyeing and stuff and I used coffee and a little bit of like coloring and stuff and it's just kind of like green I don't know I thought it was cool so I just put it in here because we could always use more coffee dyed paper to journal on or just enjoy the crinkle of it <laughs> and then here's the little campers and then the back piece of vellum and that is the end of the book and I think the thing oh Yep, the thing that fell on the floor was this tag that I had yet to to put in it and that I'm just going to write you something on the back there just to say when it was made and stuff like that. So, in the back's plain. So that is that is your book. I hope that you love it. I really really like how it turned out. I think it's a lot of fun. Um and then this band can just go around here and uh you could even use it to like tuck a pen in the side or something too which I kind of like doing. So anyways, this is your book. I hope you love it. Um, thank you so, so much for asking me to make it. And I just can't wait to see it in use. So I just love that, you guys. If you ever buy stuff off of me, oh my gosh, if you're like on Instagram or Facebook or something, just will you tag me in your pictures if you if you use my books? I get a big kick out of seeing them being filled up with stuff. So I don't know. I always love when people email me pictures and stuff of their of their books in action. So anyways, that's it. I just wanted to show you that. And um, Jessica, we will talk more about it. And um, thank you, everybody else who has been watching and commenting and being just so sweet to me. I just love you all so much. So um, thanks again. And I will talk to everyone soon. Okay, bye.